started having these memories. Memories of other lives. Other possibilities. Other worlds. My first episode, which was season two of... Uh, I'm sorry, it was um, episode two of season one. The swastika iconography, all of the Nazi iconography, was really hard to take. There was a ver real emotional charge with it. Astonishingly, within three or four episodes, it was gone. And it, not the iconography, the emotional response was gone. And it, it indicated to me how quickly we can become desensitized and lose the not just the emotional content, but potentially be brainwashed into another way of thinking. It was such a great example of that because I no longer even noticed the swastikas on people. I no longer noticed the SS stuff that was everywhere. So it, it now, no, it's not that difficult to deal with because I also recognize where we are and what the context is. Uh, that being said, it's still equally shocking when you see it out in the world. So when I'm off of this set and I see stuff like that, I still f feel that emotional charge and the impact of the devastation of what that symbol has meant for a really long time. Again, this is how it works. The more you see it, just like with daily horrors, the more normal it becomes. What was a horror to you two days ago is an acceptable part of real re reality now. And this is the way that we survive. This is the way we get, and this is how Nazism takes hold. It's how all of these ideologies, changes in realities take hold, is that day by day, you know, I turn, in, turn up my first day, I'm dressed in black with a Nazi armband, and there's a picture of Hitler over my shoulder, and everything's really weird, and you kind of make jokes about it. The next day, someone comes up to you and says, you look kind of cool, and you think, do I? You know. Next day, people just say hi. And it all just becomes what your reality looks like. And the same thing happens with the brutality and, the, and who you get used to not seeing anymore and who you get, you know. So it's been an object lesson in how you adjust. And one of the things is we have to remind ourselves to unadjust. Not that we become believers in Nazism, of course, but we just become inured to the iconography that, you know, we develop a language, a shorthand for the things around us. Not, we're not in any way insensitive about it, but we just, we have an ease with it that we have to adjust to. We have to realize that other people don't understand the expression to schwoz something up, i.e. meaning to add enough swastikas to render it sufficiently Nazi. All of these weird expressions that become, you know, just part of the course for us because we're doing a show every day. You know, it's strange. You know, it's disturbing, it's disturbing. But it's also, it also makes me proud to be part of a show that's trying to shine a light on it or, you know, that's actually talking about the pitfalls of demagoguery as opposed to, I don't know, you know, just pure escapism. The Nazis are purging American history. A new America. Year zero. Things are getting very dangerous. There could be a war. 